Skeletal disease is common and affects millions of people all over the world. Two of the most common are osteoporosis, which results in loss of bone and fractures, and osteoarthritis, which is a chronic degenerative disease of the joints. These really are devastating diseases, and these have major effects on uh, people's uh, mobility, their ability to work and to go about their everyday living. Thyroid hormone has a critical role in the skeleton. In the developing skeleton, it acts on the chondrocytes and bone-forming cells to drive skeletal development. In adults, it regulates maintenance of bone mass and strength, and too much thyroid hormone results in an increased susceptibility to fracture due to bone loss and reduction in bone strength. The Molecular Endocrinology Laboratory at Imperial College London has a long history of working on thyroid hormone action. And over the last 15 years, we've collaborated with many groups across the world to analyze a series of genetically modified mice which have abnormalities in thyroid hormone signaling. We've been using mouse models with mutations or deletions of the receptors and some of the molecules involved in thyroid hormone signaling to identify those which mediate the effects of uh, thyroid hormones on skeletal development and on the maintenance of bone mass. The work that we've done in the thyroid on the skeleton has allowed us to obtain um, expertise which is world leading together with the infrastructure to do complete skeletal phenotype analysis. We developed X-ray microradiography which allows us to look at the size and shape of bones and also its, their bone mineral content. We use micro CT analysis to look at both trabecular and cortical bone parameters. We use three-point bend and compression testing to look at the biomechanical properties of bone. We use backscattered electron scanning electron microscopy to look at the real details of uh, surface topology, it's cortical bone and trabecular bone. We also use dynamic and static histone morphometry which allows us to look at bone resorption by osteoclasts and bone formation by the osteoblasts. And for this we use confocal microscopy and also light microscopy. The very final thing that we really um, are interested in doing now is looking at molecular mechanisms and signalling pathways. And we collaborate with colleagues at the Garvan Institute in Australia to uh, use RNA-seq analyses to look at the molecular basis for thyroid hormone action in the various cell types in the skeleton. The Molecular Endocrinology Laboratory has received funding from the Medical Research Council, uh, from the Wellcome Trust and also from Arthritis Research UK. Our new uh, studies looking at the cell-specific role of thyroid hormone in osteoporosis and fracture repair are funded by the Wellcome Trust. Funding we've received from the European Commission Horizon 2020 programme is allowing us to investigate osteoarthritis, whilst the Medical Research Council are letting us look at cellular mechanisms in osteoclast biology and how those are influenced by thyroid hormones. The cell-specific manipulation of thyroid hormone action in the skeleton has revealed a new understanding of bone biology. Firstly, during skeletal development, the key thyroid hormone target uh, cell is the chondrocyte, whereas in adulthood and bone turnover, the key target cell is the osteoblast. Very gratifyingly in recent years, patients have been identified with mutations affecting thyroid hormone receptor alpha and they present with identical consequences to the skeleton that we found in these mutant mice, allowing us to translate our studies to human disease. Osteoporosis and osteoarthritis are very common in degenerative diseases, but our risk of developing these diseases has a large genetic component. But actually, we only know a tiny fraction of the genes involved and these have been identified from studying large cohorts of patients with these conditions. Now, we're using an entirely new approach to this. Using our expertise in skeletal phenotyping, we're analyzing the mice generated by the International Knockout Mouse Consortium. This consortium internationally is deleting every individual gene across the genome. And what we're able to do is to take mice with single gene deletions and identify those that have significant and severe skeletal phenotypes and disorders. This new approach 
is called the Origins of Bone and Cartilage Disease Study and is funded by a strategic award from the Wellcome Trust. A major and important aspect of this work is that the findings that we identify are immediately made available over the internet and via the websites to collaborating groups and scientists all over the world in real time. These studies have already identified nine new genes which are involved in skeletal development, growth, bone mineralization and strength. And actually none of these genes could have been predicted from what we know about skeletal development already. The other exciting thing about this is that we're investigating the downstream pathways and signaling molecules that mediate the effects of these genes. And those, we're hoping, can be directly translated to identify new drug targets for the prevention of bone loss and the prevention of fracture. These new resources will be vital to understand the specific cellular role of thyroid hormone in controlling proliferation and differentiation. Our studies are going to have general applicability to other tissues such as the central nervous system, generally to inflammatory diseases and also possibly to cancer, again identifying new avenues for drug development for these critically important diseases.